All right, guys, thanks for joining me for part two of nuclear attack survival skills. Now I'm going to go over some basic formulas, two basic formulas that you need to know that are absolutely critical to surviving any type of nuclear emergency, whether it's an attack or a disaster, either intentional or unintentional. Um, so the two formulas you need to know, or two rules, is the 710 rule and the inverse square law. All right, so the 710 rule, what that means is that radiation breaks down for every uh, every time for every time the when the time is increased by a factor of seven, the radiation is uh, divided by ten. Uh, the intensity is 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 ten times weaker. All right, so for every time, for every factor of seven that you increase. Uh, your time you have to decrease the radiation will decrease by a factor of 10 all right so let's say there's an explosion of a bomb right now okay a missile goes off the radiation seven hours from now will be 10 times less than it is right now and then uh, and then if you go out 49 hours which is two days so you're you're doing another factor of seven it's going to be a hundred times less than what it is now. Um, and then if you go, you know, if you multiply 49 times 7, you know, you're going to get two weeks. If you go out two weeks from now, the radiation is going to, the, the radiation levels are going to be a thousand times lower than it is now. So that's why it's important um, to understand this rule because people say that nuclear attacks are not survivable or nuclear attack, you know, that it's just no sense in preparing for it. I disagree on that. Um, you know, basically, uh, as you see with the 710 rule, it, it, after seven hours, it's 10 times less, but after two days, it's 100 times less, and after two weeks, it's 1,000 times less, you know, so that's pretty significant. So if you, even if you can survive the first two days, the radiation levels are going to come down dramatically after two days, you know, um, and then if you, if you can hang in there a few more days, you know, a week, two weeks, you know, your radiation levels are going to dr uh, drop dramatically. So just remember 710 rule, um, you know, it's going to be 10 times less, seven hours, then it's going to be a hundred times less in 49 hours. And then it's going to be a thousand times less in two weeks, two weeks from the explosion or from the incident. Um, so for every factor of seven, uh, that you increase the time, uh, the, uh, the radiation levels are decreased by a factor of 10, all right? Then we got the inverse square law. The inverse square law is important because, you know, I'm, I wasn't really a big physics person in, in college, you know. That was probably one of my worst subjects. I always struggle with physics, but uh, basically what it means is that um, the inverse square law is is basically... You know, as you go further away from from a radiological source, it also works for light or electromagnetic, any kind of radiation, whether it's electromagnetic or nuclear or any kind of light. Um, as you go away from the source, um, it's going to get much weaker, you know, so distance is going to be your friend, you know. So that's where inverse square law comes into play. This is why... Um, this is why, for example, you can have like a nuclear reactor can explode, like look at Chernobyl or something. Chernobyl, the area right around Chernobyl, like, you know, right where the right where the core melted down. And then, you know, like the, the 10 mile circle around it is, is very radioactive. But if you go 20 miles or 30 miles, it's barely radioactive at all. Or if you go like 40, 50 miles, you know, 60 miles, 70 miles, there's people living there. And the radiation is tremendously less, you know. Um, so you can look up online if you want to know more about the inverse square law. If you want to, you know, get into the details of it. Um, but just know that what, that what that means is distance is your friend. The further away you get from the source of radiation, it's going to be reduced, you know, typically by like a square. You know, that's what it means, square. Um, you know, so if, let's say like there's a nuclear, uh, you know, a dirty bomb or something like that you know you want to get as far away as you can 
if that's possible. So distance is your friend and time is your friend. So just remember those things. And um, so, you know, just remember that. And um, and I'll also talk quickly about fallout. Um, you know, a lot of people think that when there's a nuclear bomb that there's going to be, you know, radiation for like, you know, years or months or something like that. But um, that's not the case, you know. Basically what happens is, you know, fallout is just irradiated ashes um, from the explosion, you know. And the ashes, they don't have a lot of density, so they don't hold a lot of the, the nuclear radiation in them. Um, so they're going to degrade very quickly. Um, like I said, they're going to follow the 710 rule. And uh, so, so don't think that nuclear, nuclear attacks are unsurvivable, because they are. They're very survivable. All right, guys, uh, you can click on the bottom of the screen, on the bottom uh, right corner, and that'll take you to part three. All right, see you there.